Well, it is official. Mortgage rates are over 7% and in some cases, way over 7%. So in today's video, what you're going to learn is how mortgage rates actually work. Is there one rate for everybody or is there modifications to rates that are basically very confusing? That's where you're gonna to learn today. The reason why we're doing this is there's really no economic news today, really not much out tomorrow. It starts an action-packed week on Wednesday. So let's get over to the economic calendar just to show you that. So what we have this week is, like I said, nothing until Wednesday. And then when what starts coming in, rolling on in on Wednesday and Thursday, is the inflation numbers. That's what everybody's watching, and that's especially including the Fed. So the Fed watches a lot of inflation numbers, so this week we have two major numbers coming out. One is on the producer side of the equation, how much is our producer's inflation going up? And the other side of the equation is consumer side of the equation. How much is consumer prices going up? You can see that right here. Wednesday we have the PPI, producer price index. And then on Thursday, we have the uh, CPI, the core CPI, the year over year, and the month over month. Basically what the core CPI number is, they pull out energy and food. Why? Because they're really volatile. You, did you realize in the last about week, we saw oil prices rise 10% because OPEC elected to basically cut production. So that's, it's going to be a huge week, but it's really not in starting till Wednesday. So I figured, you know, let's learn about how mortgage rates work. Because the one question I ask, get asked every day is, Dan, what's your 30-year fix today? Well, it depends, and it depends on a lot of things. So let's learn that now. Okay, so let's figure out what your rate's going to be. So we start with rate sheets and here's a rate sheet uh, that I get from a lender and I get these every day. You look at this rate sheet. If you look through here, there's, this is page 10 of 40. So my rate sheets and most investors come or most banks come over to me, they're 20, 30, maybe 40 pages long. Well, we use an automated system. So we just plug in your criteria. You might hear me a lot of times saying, you know, the first question is what's your credit score? And then how much are you putting down? And what kind of property is it? There's a point with all that and you're going to learn that now. So in today's uh, event, here's what we see. We're seeing mortgage rates and here's a rate sheet that we're seeing. This rate uh, sheet right here is basically the 10 year high balance or the 15 year high balance home possible fixed rate. So if you don't know what that program is, don't fret. I'm just, the goal here today is for you guys to understand interest rates. So here's the interest rates or basically rate sheet that I get every day. And this is today's rate sheet. What we want to focus in on are these numbers over here. This is the interest rate on the left side where it says rate. And then the other side of the equation, you have 30, 45, and 60 days. Those are terms, uh, lock terms. So this would be if you're locked in for 30 days, 45 days, and 60 days. Okay. So so what we want to start out with is this column here. What you want to get on this column here is as close to 100 as you can. Why 100? When 100 for us, is basically that means zero. So if it's a positive number, it's like 101, that basically means it's just one. So the 100 just brings us to par. We, we call par, so that's zero. So anything positive is a positive, obviously, and anything negative is a negative. And you're going to understand this and why I said that here in a second. So you can see where rates are. Like in this, for, for example, this one, the rate, you could get a 4.5% rate right here. But remember, we got to get yourself to par. So if you're at 95.375, well, that means you'd have to pay 4.625 in points to get that rate. Okay, what are points? Well, points we represent or we say points, that equals actually a percentage rate. So in this case, you'd have to pay 4. Point, what is it? 625 points percentage of the loan amount. So think of it as a $100,000 loan, you'd have to pay $4,625 to get that rate on a $100,000 loan. Okay, so what we wanna do is we wanna get as close to zero as we can. So in this equation at 5.75, you'd have to pay no points, okay? But now you're gonna see numbers that are over 100. So anything over 100, you're gonna get back in credits. So for example, let's go all the way down to the bottom. If you chose to take a 6.5% rate, you'd actually get anything over 100 back in a credit. So let's minus 100 from this. That leaves us 1.625. So you would get back, if our equation is a $100,000 mortgage, you're doing a $100,000 mortgage, you'd get $1,625 back in credits to cover any costs. That's how mortgage lenders give you a basically a no-cost loan. Okay, so now let's start digging into this. Why is like your credit score so important? Why is what we call your loan to value so important? Well, let's dig down into more pieces of this, um, this equation or this rate sheet. So now we're gonna go down through here and see 
the loan level price adjustments. So you might every once in a while hear me reference loan level price adjustments. Those are the adjustments to the rates that are there because of certain situations. Like in this case, let's look at this. Here's this goes over your credit score. All right. So let's go over your credit score real quick. I hope you guys can see this on the board. So for example, if you have a 740 credit score with a 60% loan to value or less, there's no adjustments. Okay. First let's explain loan to value. Loan to value is basically the loan amount divided by the value of the property. Okay. So that's what this is. So you can see it's 740 uh, credit score. If you took, um, you'd have no adjustments if your loan to value was 60% or less. If you go down to a 620 credit score, it's going to be a negative 0.5. So think that's going to be actually cost you a half a point. Remember anything negative you have to pay. So it would, it, this would actually take off a half. So let's go back to the rate sheet. So for example, 6.25 is, is a negative half. We go up through here. What would your rate be if you had a, that credit score? Well, we have to minus a half. So you can do one of two things. You can go down through here and pick up the half. So the half is right there. Remember in this case, we owe it. You're getting actually penalized for this. See, it's the minus 0.5. So we have to take that away from this number here. All right. So in this case, you could have gotten 5.75 and it wouldn't cost you anything, but your credit score is low. So you actually have to go to 5.875 to pay that half a point. So you're getting a half a point here and you're paying it on the other side. I hope you get it. Let's use another extreme example. Let's go down through here and I think you're going to get this one. Let's say, for example, you needed a six, you had a 620 credit score and you needed, let's say an 80% loan to value. Well, we go here and we scroll all the way over here and you can see now that's negative three. Okay. So we go back up to our rate sheet and we have to pick up three points. So over here, we can't, it doesn't go to three, three points. So what we have to do is we have to go all the way down to six and a half. Remember we owe three points. We're getting 1.625. So that means we still owe 1.375. So you can see how if you have a 740 credit score, it's dramatically different than a 620 credit score. And the list goes on and on and on. That's just the one adjustment for the, your credit score. Let's say you wanted to pull out cash. You might hear me a lot of times saying, are you looking to buy a property? Are you looking to do a rate and term? Or are you looking to pull out cash? If you're pulling out cash, Look, there's adjustments again. So let these, let's see how these compound. So for example, if you have a 620 credit score right here and you have a, you need to go 80% loan to value. We move over here. Remember we lose three. Well, now it's a cash out. So we have to go add this to it. We go down to here. We move over to here. Now we add the minus three that we have here plus the minus 3.125 we have here. So now we're negative 6.125. We go back up here to our rate sheet. You, you probably couldn't even do that loan because the highest rate it goes is six and a half. We get 1.625, but we owe over six points. So you'd have to pay, you know, five over five points to get this rate. If you're looking to cash out with a 620 credit score. So sound confusing. Wonder if I can make this easy for you. Wonder if you could send me your criteria. We can scan over 85 of the country's largest banks and mortgage companies and get back with you with the best rate in the country, basically, and the lowest fees, because we are a federally chartered mortgage advisor. At this point, we are set up with over 85 different lenders, the largest lenders in the whole country to basically help you find the lowest rate out there. So that's what we can do for you. The best way to do that and reach out to us to figure this out is go to therateupdate.com and all your information is going to be right here. You're going to be able to give us a call. Sorry about that. This is my screen is reversed. You're going to be able to give us a call. You can schedule a meeting right there. Or if you wait a second, you're going to see a uh, chat bot pop up and it just popped up. So if you'd like to ask us any questions, you can do that live right while you're on visiting the website. And there's so much more here. Check out our blogs, resources, and everything else. We'd love to help you. If you're out there looking to build, buy, refinance, reverse mortgages, debt consolidation, home renovations, anything, 
we'd love to help. So God bless. Thanks so much for watching today, guys. I'll be back tomorrow with the markets will be open. We're going to be able to dissect where mortgage rates are and with the projection on where they're going to go. So thanks for watching. Take care. Please make sure if you like my videos on this, check us out on podcasts as well. Just uh, when you're in there, search Dan Frio. You're going to find yours truly there with probably over 1,300 episodes. God bless, guys. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.